Today in the manager seat, we're going to jump into individual training, showing you how to eke every fiber of potential out of your superstars with some wonderful tips weaved in there and a view like you've never seen before. Let's get into it. When it comes to training a football manager, there is a myriad of options and over the coming months, the manager seat will jump into every single section to impart as much knowledge as we can. But for today, we're going to jump into individual training, which is probably, in my opinion, the most important part. When it comes to training, there is no one size fits all. And this is the part where you can really dive into every individual player, look at their strengths, look at their weaknesses, maybe even retraining them. There's some players who I've taken from a central midfielder position into a very technical wide position and it's worked wonders and ultimately we're just trying to maximize the potential of that player to grow your club for me on this page there are three key bits of information that you need to work with and you can do this as you see fit in my opinion we're looking at the training rating i've sorted it from poor to good so you know exactly who's performing on that training pitch. Get a benchmark. Work out what you think is a reasonable performance for training. Personally, I'm at high 7. 7, 8 I would accept as decent training. Below that, I want them to improve. But I wouldn't necessarily criticize for that. I would just kind of leave it as a carte blanche. The ones down here, 6s, anything from a 6.5 down, they're having it. So what you can do here is click on Florian, for example, praise his recent training, and it will give you a lovely little morale boost, which is so important in Football Manager and that is going to be a video on its own and then of course for the criticism side of things let's take one of the low performers Patrick Schick I'm sorry mate but you've not been doing that well with a 6.1 he agrees and morale bumps up slightly very nice indeed and then the second area on this page which is I would say the most important is this area here this is where you're going to cater the training for the individual position role and duty ideally to tactic you're playing or if you're looking to retrain a player the additional focus which we'll come into in a second and the intensity level that they're going to be training at and then the third area is player traits which we will touch upon but again this is an entire video in its own right so as a page this is an introduction to the three sections but for me it doesn't give me the information that i need to really maximize the potential of these players and that is where today's download is going to come into effect if we jump into the squad view this is what i've created and we'll run through it together right now this has been tweaked along the way and the reality is for the player information this is all we need i had lots more in there in terms of rating but the reality i just want their age the position they're at and their name and then as we move along we've got the administrative side of things the performance and training the training rating the intensity and the workload which again we're going to touch upon now and then the second part is where we start to put some meat in the bones this is where we're going to focus on some actual training with some actual feedback from the scouts and then the final area down here is a wonderful time saver that we're going to jump into as well now the best way to do this in my humble opinion is to start off here we're going to look at Callum hudson Adoy as an example now my scout has given us the pros and the cons pros being speed cons team player he is a selfish individual so from here we can cater some improvements to develop hudson Adoy, which can be done right here but what i'd suggest you do when you're getting into it is coming into the player development tab and having a look here so for example what we've done with callum his additional focus as he's a selfish little man is to look at his final third composure and decisions when he's in this danger area in the final third i want him to be lifting his head up and actually making correct decisions cutting the ball back passing to the man in space as opposed to shooting with 10 finishing mate don't be doing that and i would strongly suggest just taking an hour sitting here going through individually setting it up for the season monitoring it and you're away to go if we take some of them for example you'd have an unknown it just means that the scouts have not got an opinion on their weaknesses as of yet or for the likes of florian birds maybe he doesn't necessarily have a weakness and what you do in that case is kind of use your own judgment so for florian birds for example who's got some fantastic stats across the board you want to look at the position he's playing so for example with us he's a shadow striker on attack and most of these are good 13s there's some 12s here but you're looking at the areas you need to improve now personally finishing a 13 if i'm getting him in a position where he's going to get shooting opportunities we need to improve that so we're going to come all the way down to shooting which gives us three Three lovely areas finishing a 13 long shots of 13 and technique that's just an added bonus because that is such a universal skill in football manager
manager that can be used anywhere on the pitch. So you've gone through the whole squad, you've done your individual focus for training for every single player. Next up is setting up some player traits to suit the style you want to play. As mentioned, we've already done one for Callum hudson Adoy. We're looking to pass rather than score simply because his shooting is very low and he's a selfish player. So we're trying to adapt him to become the assist king of the Bundesliga. Now taking Adam Flozetcher, who can play up front across the top, we're going to get a trait underway for him. You'd have options. I would suggest choosing the one more relevant for the role if he was a defender. I would go for this lad as he's up top we can go for Enchinas a technical one and we're gonna look at finishing training because obviously he's gonna be a striker now you can literally click anything here and the coach will give you a suggestion of what they feel is the best one but let's choose a sensible one for a striker this is one that I really like in terms of blasting the ball into the net a lot of them skyrocket it if they've got low composure it's going to go wide placing the shot gives them a lot more control and as suspected good old Lenchinas has come back to say mate you don't know what you're talking about you can ask him for a suggestion which we'll do and he wants to stick to the center of the pitch whilst dribbling and nine times out of ten that's a good move so we'll go with that one for now from the coach runs with the ball through the center if he's going to be a striker or even a winger cutting inside as an inverted winger that is perfect and the fact we're training Adam to be an inside forward on attack running through the centre is really really a sensible trait. Looking at one more player then, Kerem Dumubai who's a fantastic player, very good technically we're going to jump into him, technical trainer again, Enchinas and from a passing perspective we want him to dictate play because he's got such an ability on the ball. He's going to come back and say that's not suitable but I'm sorry it is. So in this instance we are going to override our coach and click on it and end the chat there and we will start training dictates tempo. As with Passing of 17, vision of 16, and decent composure and decision making is going to be a very good trait for Karen Dimmerby to have. So, picture to the scene. You've got all your focuses done for the plays. You've done your traits. They are set for the foreseeable future. I would suggest you check in it and you can put reminders in a note in your calendar for every quarter, I would say, every three months to pop in just to see how these traits are developing. Sometimes they fail, which you'll see popping up in your inbox, and sometimes they take an awful long time. But this is the most important, to make sure that these are developing and moving along nicely. Now the next section is to see how hard they're going to be training. If you click here, we've got workload. A few of these boys, Mr. Heratic, he has got a light workload. So we can bump him up to double intensity, which only takes up to medium, which if you ask me is very doable. Admittedly, he's 32 and he's not gonna thank me. As long as none of these are going up to the high workload and you're creating that added risk of injury, I think you're safe. And then the final section of this wonderful view is over here. At the bottom here, we've got two more tabs. We've got the last five games performance and there's a few decent performers and then the development advice of our staff. This is a time-saving grace that I'm gonna give you. Let's take Mitchell Backer, for example, 7.54 across the last five games. We've got a little tick here, which is praise recent form. Come in here, it's done. You literally just bump his morale. Doing that is 10 times easier than clicking on his name, going into discussion, praising the player, going here, just click on that tick, it's done. And you will also get development advice popping up here along the way, linked to what you've been setting up here. So for example, if you were training these players very well, you're gonna have a little pop up here like Palacios to say that their potential is increasing. We're going from the three to the four, and he's gonna become a very important member of the team. If on the other side, we've got a player who's not performing well they will come up and tell us and that's when we need to tweak so Patrick Schick is no longer a leading Bundesliga striker he's now just a good one so Patrick mate we need to work on his training and that's when you can come into here and look at the cons to find it exactly where you need to improve this guy's training so a very quick deep dive into individual training I will link our discord down below where you will find that link to that view where you can put everything in one place on that one screen which is really all you need for individual training and to monitor it throughout the entire year and career of that player and when you take that individual training and you mix it with Leo Damis's video on training schedules you're going to end up with some seriously good players I'll catch you in the next one take care